was riding down, down, down. Good morning, good morning, good, 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 good morning. Good morning, is um, you are tuned in with Leadership Month on a Friday morning. Friday morning with leadership. Yeah. It's a chilly morning in 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 uptown in uptown Gauteng in North Gauteng today. Chilly morning, chilly morning. I've got an early morning actually. Um I've got an early morning. So hope you guys are good. Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are good, man. Um, as usual, I've got a early morning today. Uh, that's a home of cool. I had a crash. I fuck I crash you. I got got Friday was saying. I was gonna move on. But anyway, um, it's a good morning. I said north, not not hot thing today. Come pick me up. What the hell? Not hot thing today. It's, uh, it's a bit chilly. I'm feeling a bit better than I was yesterday. I'm feeling better than I did last week. I'm feeling better than I did last month. I'm feeling better than I did last year. I think uh, everything, every aspect about me right now is in good space. The rumor they said, don't let your dreams haunt you. Don't let your dreams haunt you. Don't ever sleep what you on your vision. See, I got eye bags. You see these? It's because I got dreams, bro. I got goals. I dreamt enough as a youngin. Every dream I have now, right now, every dream I've got right now, I'm no more dreaming about. I'm, I'm, I'm putting word, I'm putting work to actually what I want. So, so everything, everything you see right now. So everything I'm doing now is everything I dreamt about. I don't, I don't dream about what I want anymore. I think I've got my future sort of out, and everything that I want for myself is all in my hands. How do you feel the the fact that you you are not going after your dreams? Can I come to your house in September? Let's speak about that when we get there. Um, how you feel on a Friday morning like this? Are, are you are you going for your dreams? What you're doing right now is it actually motivating you to finally live your dream life? Are you satisfied with yourself? How old are you? You still got time. Age is just a number. I know men who felt rich at forty. I know that dead. At 30, I know some went there at 35. I don't know who did it younger than I did it. I know a lot of people who got their breakout in their prime time at different times, different ages. So success is definitely not about age. So um, regarding the one-on-one, my manager is back. She was out. It's been two or three weeks now. So, but she's back this week. Um, from her personal leave whatsoever so yeah she get response very soon but today is a friday morning and i'm happy and in the car as you can hear i'm playing all the <laughs> so it's definitely a good friday morning i'm playing all the same should be um but that out is crazy it's a lot i appreciate it um, today I want to speak about those of you who do not believe in yourself. Do you understand that when you don't believe in yourself, you are delaying your family of success? Do you know that one man's success, it takes one man to be successful in a family, to raise them and to create more success stories within that empowerment circle. Do you know that you delaying yourself and not acting up on your dreams might be delaying your future and your family you might be delaying your your brother your sister your cousin you know that you might be the breakthrough of your family and you're not making it happen do you understand that you making it you actually being successful might bring life and light to so many lives come on do not sleep on yourself your success is not yours alone when god says i i think it's a sire i don't know the verse you guys should know it the sire give me the verse when when when, uh, when what when all the time when all all in good time I the Lord shall provide. Give me the verse, guys. You guys should know that verse. But that 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 comes from Messiah, and initially it speaks about everybody's got their time. Your success 
and my success might not be the same. A thousand rand to me might be a lot of money and to you might be nothing. A hundred rand to me might be a lot of money and to you might be nothing. You know, success comes at different times in different ways. Chapter. I the Lord shall provide. Give Friday morning is a it's a blue Friday morning. Blue Friday. I'm feeling very great. I'm feeling good. Um. Um. I'm off to to do my you know one of my chores which I don't actually get to but right now. I'm in Kauteng North. And it's a chilly morning. I hope you guys are good. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? It's a blue Friday. I mean, if you you have, you cannot be good. You can. In Figo says, but when the time is right, I the Lord shall provide. What up? I was about to give up on myself after receiving those words. I changed my mind. Don't ever do that. Don't do that to yourself. Do you know what giving up does to your generation? Do you know what kind of a curse that could be to your family? There are some people out there who gave up on their dreams and they were supposed to be the life of their families, the life of the village. I did this just so I could change and work on my family and really better situations and create a better future. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm still doing right now. But my work is now touching the village I grew up in, and that was not my goal. My goal was to change the lives of those I live with and those that raised me. But my work today is touching the village I grew up in. My work now touches every single time. Do you understand what happened when I didn't give up on my dreams? Do you understand what will happen if I give up on my dreams today? Do you understand what kind of... There's a, there's my dream, there's a lot of dreams that rely on my dream. If my dreams don't come true, many dreams may not come true. And that is the same thing with your dreams. Don't ever underestimate yourself. God says your path will open many paths. But if you don't open the door, then no no door, any door further beyond that may not be opened. You know? So, uh, um, I hope you guys... I posted the video. Now I've got I've got the video. I haven't actually shared it yet. I'll show you when I got time. So today I'm speaking about vision. Do you do you, do you do you guys have an idea? Do, do you have a single idea, a single second of literally um, what happens when you give up on your dreams? Don't do that to yourself, man. That could be very dangerous. You know, so your dream could open many. It might be hard, it might be difficult. You know, the stumbles might be heavy. But when you've got a vision and you've got a God that is alive and you pray up to him every day, and you ask for guidance and ask for leadership and ask for protection. Hi. Enda. Ah, man, rovo. Rovo. Kumbera wari endi ndi mranga pan, mranga pan. Aya mranga pan. Three five nine. Endi mranga pan. Eh, warume. Ah, marufu ama. Zino winter yosika mani e is jacket e ah. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say to you guys, you know. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from, if you guys see my vision. Yeah, hey, what do you mean? I don't know. I hope you guys are feeling good. What's the lingo? The lingo is going Hey, what do you mean? Ah, I know. I don't get to be the girl who moved like that. I don't get to be the girl who moved like that. I'm sure I'm going to live on Instagram. Yeah, next. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house.
Ah, uh, not worse. Anyway, good day, guys. Hope you guys are good. Um, what are what John? Nah, hopefully I'll stop. I mean, he just woke up from giving me. God bless. Anyway, uh, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on what is uh, important right now. And I'm saying to you guys, you not making your dreams come true. You you delaying your dreams. You neglecting your dreams might cost your family a fortune. You, you might be the reason. You know, a lot of you guys are the reasons. A lot of you guys, right? Your poverty, your current poverty might be caused by your, family, your older relatives that didn't go for their dreams. That, that cousin that you know that was supposed to be a doctor. That uncle that you know that was supposed to be a soldier. And maybe your mom was supposed to be a pilot. Those dreams that were forbidden and and put aside and forfeited, that affected you a lot. And that is why you're in the circumstances you're in. So let let not, do not allow those that will come after you or those that are, are, are after you suffer from the same consequences. Go for your dreams so you may bless them like how you were not fortunate enough. You see, I told myself, anybody that will come beyond me and after me, as long as I am around, I will make sure my, my dream open their doors. That's what I told them. That's what I told him. Your dreams, you making money, you making everything a success should not be a way of killing, of, of, of sabotaging other people's success. Success should open many doors. If your success cannot open doors, my son, you're not successful. And success is not being Bill Gates. Success is being able to do what you want at whatever time, at whatever time you want, however you want, whoever you want, with whoever you want to do it with. And that is just talking about a, a, a personal freedom. Financially, success is being able to buy whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, forever you want to buy it for. And have any set of, any set, all kind of rules on yourself, no matter the circumstances. So, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys are good, though. Um, this, is, this is your Friday morning with leadership. You tuned in 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we are live with leadership speaking about wisdom and how dreams become a reality. <laughs> These guys, I have to go. <laughs> Peace.